we're looking at a, a wonderfully delicate um, uh, letter here. I mean, delicate in terms of its condition. Mm. Um, I, I feel as if we shouldn't really look at it directly. Yeah, I'm trying on, not to know. breathe. Uh, but it, but it's wonderful, isn't it? It, it begins, my dear, my dear Palgrave. Mm. Um, wonderful. Um, January uh, the fifth, eighteen sixty. Mm. Mm. One sort of monster, sort of envisage the yeah. front page of the Times. What's yeah, going on? What's happening? The... Yes, we've got a. Mm. A civil war brewing in the mm. in the U.S. and 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 now we are. This is a correspondence between mm. um, um, the uh, Palgrave and Macmillan um, mm. talking about uh, this wonderful uh, golden treasury of songs yeah. and lyrics. My dear Palgrave, will you come on Thursday at five? So that he was. They were part well, I'm of glad the. You read that because I'm thinking reading about, glasses. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, it's this lovely sense of. Um, intimacy in the business, getting down to the business office and that fantastic um, line in there where they're talking about making a gem of it. R last line, yeah, isn't it? The yeah. last line. We're going to make a gem. We're going to make a gem of this one. I, I, We're going to bother. I enjoy that. Okay. I, I enjoy that when publishers say things like that. Um, because I, I mean, we them. both know that they're mm. doing that all the time behind our backs. With our and books. if they say that, it's true. Yeah, absolutely. I do believe they, you know, he will make a gem of it. Um, yeah. It's been stated in, in a letter. Um, and I think again, it's this this magic in publishing a thing I love, which is about the joint the the um, uh, joint enterprise of making books. Everyone being involved in the making of a book, making a book come out. It's it's a, um, a collaborative uh, experience. I think. Yeah, and from an author's point of view, you know, having just had my first taste of this, it's, it's, there's an extraordinary sudden sense of community and support because of course writing is an incredibly lonely strange and kind of esoteric thing I think especially you know before before you get published I you know wrote my novel for kind of seven years now on and it was just this crazy thing that you know my entire family joked about and you do in the side but then suddenly when you have this editor who's invested in making your work better it's an incredible thing you know something that very lonely becomes something um, really magical, actually, I think. And when you realise that people are lending their expertise to well, your yeah, idea and your work. I don't know about you, but I mean, I, I write my, my best work often mm. late at night, usually by candlelight, <laughs> yeah. in, in, in a linen shirt, if, if uh, preferably, yes. loose fitting. Um, yes. And I write work of astounding emotional insight, and, and that beautiful, beautiful words. Um, and then the next morning, I come into my studio and see this terrible thing I did the night before yeah. um, and yeah. I hide it. I hide it away. No one must ever see it. Yeah. Um, and I think there is this little process sometimes we, creatively when we are writing, we want to make a gem of what, yeah. we're, what we're writing, but we need to bring it out into the world, don't we? And we need to show our heartfelt prose oh. to someone else. Yeah, and hard. that's why we love editors so much, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, and the skill of editing that blows my mind, how wonderfully my editor manages me and, you know, will kind of take me to one side and say, yes, you know that bit about quantum physics that we took out um, and, and you put back in? Well, I think, I, I still think on reflection it works better without it. So, you know, the, the, the wonderful mix of kind of technical skill, emotional skill, but people management skills, I mean, you know. Writers are tricky people, aren't they? I have lovely notes from my editor mm. um, who um, edits me without me realising. Mm. And then she will send me a list. Stealth editing, absolutely. Yes, it's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. And she'll send me a list and I'll go down it thinking, oh my goodness, there's an awful lot to change here. Yeah. I will then phone her and I'll say, well, how can we solve this problem and this problem and this problem? Yeah. She says, oh, no. I have done. I was just asking whether you were okay with it. And I go back and think, yes, of course I am. Yes. If you, you've solved it without me noticing, it's Amazing. even better. <laughs> and I think here we, 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 we've got a, again, this is what, what's so wonderful to sort of, um, you know, to see, to see the, the letters like this. We, we, have, um, we have a wonderful you know, sort of series of, of, of letters about precisely this, about oh. the process. And it beats WhatsApp hand down, hands down, you know. I just hope people are, are kind of saving some of their emails somewhere so you can kind of get these archives of this process. Because My goodness, you, you said WhatsApp. I mean, isn't that the one where things are deleted at the end of... No, 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 no. no. no okay. That's not the one. WhatsApp's just the, the messages. Oh, is it? Snapchat's you see, you already the deleted know, one. You yeah. see, you know more than I do. I just had a <laughs> horrible vision of... of you know, the uh, Palgrave sort of waste paper yeah. basket full of these yeah. these wonderful letters we would want to keep. Yeah, although actually you know. Snapchat, 
editing via Snapchat is possibly a brilliant idea because then I could claim, you know, complete ownership over all editorial decisions and tweaks um, because, you know, who's to say any different? Okay. Yeah. You've just said that yeah. uh, on, on, on film, so okay. Yeah, yeah, that, that one's for Bella. <laughs>